So hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a box transition in Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Prepare your clips. I've got mine right over here as you can see. What you want to do is duplicate the second clip on top of the first. So I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard and then just click and drag it all the way on top of the first clip. Next you want to search for the crop effect and then drag it onto the top clip. Adjust how you want the crop to look like. I'm just going to click on crop over here which will bring out these little points from around the edges. I'm going to create it around his eyes so I think it's going to look something like this. A bit more space on the left and maybe a bit more on the right and I think that looks fine. Next you want to search for the drop shadow effect underneath perspective and drag it onto the clip. Copy down my settings so opacity should be 100, leave this as 135, the distance should be I think 12 and the softness you can leave at 0 or you can make it 12 as well. Scroll all the way up to where it says motion and here what you want to do is just adjust your clip so that it's centered to the middle so you can see that I'm moving it to center it a bit to the left and I think that looks fine. Once you've centered your clip what you want to do is nest it by right clicking on the clip and then clicking on nest then click OK. Okay, now we're going to add the keyframe so make sure you're at the beginning and you want to click over here on this stopwatch for position and you want to move it down by clicking on the y axis and pulling it down so until it's not visible so just around there head towards the end just one keyframe back so right over here and click on the reset button so it's back in the center and then what you want to do next is graph it so click on the arrow next to the stopwatch and what you want to do is click on the second keyframe and pull this handle all the way to the left so just click and drag and pull it all the way to the left if you want to you can also move the left handle a bit down as well so just move it down and a little bit to the left you should get something that looks like this now we're going to add the scale so you want to set a keyframe for the middle of the clip head to the end just one keyframe back so same thing we did for the other one and set it to something high so you can do something like 125 or 140 i'm going to do 140 graph this as well but you need to do it the other way around so we're going to just click on the arrow and what we're going to do is pull the first keyframes graph all the way to the right so pull the handle all the way to the right making sure that it's not too high or too low so on level right about there and let go so far you should get something that looks like this what you can do for the second clip is add a scale so i'm going to set the stopwatch at the beginning to 100 and then towards the end i'm going to set it to 125 graph that as well so i'm just going to pull this to the left make sure it's on level and let go you can also pull this handle to the left as well if you want to just for that extra impact now it looks okay it's actually quite smooth but we can improve this by adding on some shakes or twitches should i say so what you're going to do is make a cut at the end so just make a cut for the top layer just one frame search for directional blur underneath blur and sharpen and drag it onto the one frame set the direction to 35 and the blur length to 15 and if you want to you can mess around with the position as well just moving it slightly to the right just like that head one frame back and make a cut again add on the directional blur again but set this to 100 and then 8 for the blur length and you can also move this to the left if you want to slightly using position so i'm just going to drag it to the left a bit and slightly down immediately you're going to notice that it creates a twitch shape repeat this for the first frame of the second clip if you want to add on directional blur blur set it to something like 25 and maybe i don't know 12 when you increase the blur length it's going to blur the edges as well but to prevent this you can just duplicate the clip on top and it should go i'm going to set my blur length to 16 for the duplicated clip and then just slightly move it to the right and a bit up as well make a cut for the second frame add on directional blur set it to 8 and the direction should be something like let's say 50 duplicate it and i'm going to move it slightly to the left and there you go that's all you need to do so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time so yeah peace